The toggle button lets us switch between two states that we can capture with bookmarks. So let's start by first adding a bookmark. If we go here to insert, then buttons, and then here we have the navigator buttons. And here at the bottom, we find bookmark navigator. And here we have our navigator with two buttons, one for the on state and one for the off state. Let's go here to the bookmarks panel. You first have to click on the toggle on bookmark, then click on the three dots. And you see, now we can click on group. All right, so we place this bookmark in a separate group. So over here, we can rename that group. And then here from the drop down, there you see we have now the toggle group. And then here also make sure to allow deselection. And here we want to launch on deselection toggle off so that we have the two states toggle on when we click the button for the first time. And then when we click the button, the same button second time, then well, the bookmark for toggle off gets triggered. It doesn't really look like a toggle button just yet. We need this little circle that jumps from the left to the right and the other way around. Now, how can we achieve that? Well, for that, we need to go back over here on the right hand side. Now, what shows on the button is determined by the bookmark name. So let's go to the bookmark name. And instead of toggle on, we're going to replace this with a unique card character that looks like a circle. That's it. You see now on the button, we have a little circle popping up. Well, the next thing that we can do is play around with the formatting. So let's go here to format style. And here we have all these different states. Now, just make sure that you start with the default state. And for the default state, I want to have that circle, well, a little bit bigger. Here for the horizontal alignment, choose to the left. And the next thing that we need to do is to, well, change the shape, the overall shape of the button. So let's go here to shape and then choose something different. You can go for a bell or rounded rectangle. And then here, the rounded corners, I'm just gonna put up to let's say 50%. And then we can also change the overall size. And by adding a border here, we can squeeze the rest of the visualization so that it comes closer to the circle. Now let me show you what I mean. If we put here a width of let's say 10, you see, we get the black area in the back a little bit smaller. And then we add a little bit of padding. Here for the default state, I want to go maybe for gray. All right, so I'm going to choose a different fill color. So I'm gonna switch here to selected. And then for the selected state, we want to have maybe a green color, okay? And then for the text, well, we want to have the horizontal alignment to the right. Then we have to change the padding, of course. And that's it, let's try it out. Let's go here to the button, hold the control key. Now it's on, now it's off, on, off, on, off. Perfect, we have our toggle. 